Hi everybody, this is Bobby with BC Designs and I have the super cute card I'm going to share with you guys. Again, I'm using the Cutest Cows Bundle. This one is an online exclusive and you get the stamp set and this cute little punch. I've used this a lot. I've shared a ton of cards already with you guys using that bundle. I'm going to use Pecan Pie for my card base and it's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter I'll just score that and then i designed this card several weeks ago so i used the basics 3d embossing folders so this was a set of three and i have not checked personally but i've been told that it's no longer available so if it's not just use an embossing folder that you already have on hand. Now this one, I did use linen thread and wrapped it around that piece of basic white. This time I'm not gonna do it because you can't really see it and I feel like that's wasting my linen thread. So we'll just put a little bow right there. We'll use linen thread and just adhere the little bow on there to the side. So we'll go ahead and adhere this piece down. I'll tell you the supplies as we're going through and using them. I usually tell you at the beginning, but I think I'm just going to do it and tell you as I use them. So this piece of DSP is from the uh, Glorious Gingham 6x6. Not sure if that's available. I didn't check before I started the video. It was when I designed it. But like I said, this has been maybe three weeks ago when I made this card. So this piece is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And we're just going to kind of center it this way, looking around the sides and the bottom, just leave a little bit of room at the top. And then I have, I'm trying to reach without falling off my chair. I have, oops, hold on a minute. I dropped my circle. Okay. Every since I try to sit down and do my videos, I drop everything. When I stand up, I don't have any issues whatsoever. Okay, I'm trying to find my little square I die cut out. I know I die cut it, but now I don't know if I left it over. Oh, I see it. Hold on a minute. Okay, so I used pecan pie and die cut out a square using the largest square from the stylus shape dies. And then that's where I also cut out my circle and I used the largest circle from this dies. These are one of my favorite sets and one of my dies got lost over the weekend. Now I'm very sad about that. And then for my clouds that we're going to get right here, which are these two, I used the clouds right here from the bright skies. Okay, so we have my clouds, and then I also used the label from the stylus shaped dice that we'll stamp the sentiment on. So we're just going to take this piece. I just want to look and see. I think I popped that up. So we are going to pop this piece up using dimensionals. I love this stamp set. If you guys can't tell, I promise I'm going to move on. I think I have one more card. And then I have two or three more cards to share with you where I used the bright skies. And then we'll move on. I know I've just kind of been going back and forth sharing the same ones, but I just love it so much. Okay, we'll go ahead and do some stamping. I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper. Now, I hope I used Mossy Meadow. I was going to pull up my PDF and look and I forgot, but we're just going to go for it. But we're going, going to use the grass and then I'm just stamping like a darker and then a light and then I'm also just going to go back over it we just want it to be filled in it's not a big deal if you have two that are right beside each other we're just gonna I kind of went up a little bit higher than what I wanted to on that one so we'll just fill it in it's all good we're just making a little bit of grass okay so we are done with Mossy Meadow. And then I'm going to tr take the basic white, um, or I'm sorry, Memento Black, and on this piece of white that we have for the circle, we're just going to stamp two flowers and we're gonna do one a little bit higher than the other. So just kinda offset them a little bit. 
while I have my memento out, let's grab the sentiment and we'll ink that up and stamp it. Okay. And then I need a scrap piece for me to stamp the um, little can on. So let me grab this piece. I'll just cut it really quick if I can find my scissors to make it not be so big. My husband came in and talked to me while I was in the middle of pulling out everything I needed and he made me forget what I was doing. Okay. So we'll just stamp that. And then I am not sure. Let's see. Where is, okay, here we go. We'll do the cow's body and I'm probably going to have to grab We'll see. I'm not sure if I can make this work with the punch. Let's see. I'll turn it this way. And we'll see if we can make all that work. We will see. So let me cut this out. So we can just see what's going to happen here. I'm going to go ahead and color before we try that. I have my pecan ink out and I don't think I necessarily need that. So I'm going to use my light and dark pecan pie and I'm just going to look at my card for reference. So let's color his little ears in the light. Sorry if you can hear the lawnmower. My husband is mowing the grass and he's done and he parks it on our lower deck out back. Okay and then we'll just do his little mouth here. And again, I'm just using the light pecan. And then we're also going to do his little hoofs down here. Okay, I think that's all for light. Oh, no, right here. I don't know if cows have bangs, but what the official word for that would be called. I'm sure it's not bangs. <laughs> and then I like to just go over just like a little bit of the dark like that. And you can do those two little spots there. And then we'll just color in his circles with the dark pecan pie. This one is one of my favorite cards, but I think my favorite one that I've used with this bundle is the one I'm going to share with you on Thursday. I really like that one, so stay tuned for Thursday. Oh, you know what? I just realized I used the wrong, the wrong cow body. And I looked at that too before I got the stamp out to make sure. So let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to do the other one. So let's flip him over. I'm going to go ahead and pop the head out. So we'll do that. And then we'll just flip him over and use the other side. Hopefully that didn't mess that up. So we'll keep that piece. Well, I colored it and it's going to bleed through. Let me just grab a different piece, you guys. Okay, let's stamp the body. Let me grab it here. we will have to fussy cut out because you only get the punch with this set so we'll color that and then punch it out here in just a minute okay so let's grab the dark and we'll just color his tail and all his little spots in the dark pecan pie Okay, there we go, and then we'll do the light, and do his feet, hoofs, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and then we can punch this guy out now. Let 
and then we'll keep him. I like to try to get make sure I get all those little pieces I'm not using out so my punch doesn't jam up on me. And then for this little milk can, we're going to do, I think I'll color my dark first. So let's just color that part. I'm just looking at my image to see what I did. And then the bottom, just like that. And then the handles. And then the rest of it, we'll just color in with light. Didn't try to get fancy and shade or anything with this, just simple coloring for this. It was just a cute card. It wasn't meant to be a masterpiece. It's just meant to be cute. Now you can, if you want to, go over it with your blends and make the darker stuff darker, but I'm not going to. And it's not that hard to cut out. I know you guys have heard me say I don't like to fussy cut, but this one is, you really do have some nice square images to just cut. And then just right in here, just make sure you go deep into that V. Just kind of just follow it. This was the trickier of all the pieces was right around the handles. Oh, come on, turn. There we go. Okay, now we can start putting it together. Let's color these flowers really quick. So I'm going to use the daffodil, my dark daffodil delight, to color in the centers. I really like yellow and blue together. I think it's a pretty color combination. And then I think this one is the light, misty moonlight. And just do the little petals on the flowers in that. And here, I, when you have such a small area like this, I just kind of dab. I just kind of pick up the, the, the blends and just dab. You guys, I can sign up Wednesday to be a demonstrator. So when you see this on Monday, I won't be a demonstrator. When you see my Thursday video, I will be a demonstrator. How cool is that? <laughs> I am so happy and so excited about it. Okay, put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. I have this little bowl here that I use to keep my Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll show you guys. Just a little Dollar Tree thing, the backings. And it used to set like perfect, and the camera stand was never in my way. But here lately, it just seems like it's... It's not right, and I can't get it right. I don't know what's wrong with it. So let's grab a dimensional, and we'll put it right here on the cow's head. And then put this on there, and then we'll put some more dimensionals on him. If I can let go of them on my finger. Whoops, didn't push that one down quite all the way. And you just want to make sure you're leaving enough room for the sentiment down there. So we'll put that there. And then we'll pop, I think I can fit maybe one. Whoops, I said one and pulled off two. Dimensionals on the back of the milk can. And then we're just going to set it... You know, just kind of like the flowers are coming right out of the top. So you want those stamped kind of close together. I kind of went just a little bit too far. You can kind of see them there like that, but it's okay. And then let's put dimensionals on the back of the clouds. Somebody's looking too close if they're pointing out your mistakes on your card that you made them. Well, come on. We'll put 
one about there. And the other one just right above it. And then I'm also going to use linen thread to tie my bow. And then I'm using these adhesive backed sparkle gems. And on mine, I used the black one. But let's see what the browner ones look like. I kind of like those. Let's just grab one. That really blends in well with that pecan pie. Let's just go ahead and, for good measure, we'll put one over here by the flowers. Super cute. And then for the linen thread, I'm just gonna pull off a nice amount if I can find where it begins. Give it a trim. And then I like to just make both ends meet. And then cut it right there. And then you can tie your bow and you'll have a cute little double. I think the double bow just shows up better than the single. And I think it also lays a little bit nicer. bit smaller there. Let's just trim the tails a little bit. Grab a mini glue dot. And just put it right there in that corner and then just stick the bow right on top of it. That way, I'm, we're not wasting as much of your linen thread if you want to do it that way. Okay, guys, that is it. That is my card I have for you today. Come back on Thursday, and I'll have another... Oh, you know what? We didn't put our sentiment in. I'll have another cute card for you. The last one that I've made. I'm not saying I'm not going to ever use this bundle again. But I've made quite a few. I think I've made five now. Five or six. And just put this right down there and it overlaps just a little bit okay guys thanks fo so much for watching please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i'm really trying to grow my youtube channel follow me on facebook it's bc designs and i'm also on on instagram if you want to follow me there all the links are in the description below bye bye guys